Hey guys, Qui-Gon Jake here, and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Now the year is... Oh, I, 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 I just got hit by a train, almost. As I was saying, the year <laughs> is 1972, and the new SD40s have now come out. And as you can tell from this dusty and rusty old steam locomotive, she has served her time. The uh, age of steam, unfortunately, is coming to a close, as is our playthrough. However, I don't plan on this being the end of Transport Fever 2. I do intend to kind of pick up where we left off in the next series on a much more modded platform. So we have that to look forward to. But for this episode, it is all going to be about upgrading from steam to diesel and just kind of making some finishing touches on this railroad. So let's go ahead and dive in. Alrighty, and as you can see by the new Metroliners here, which can haul 156 people, and gee, oh my gosh, Phoenix is getting huge passenger-wise. Uh, we definitely have a lot of stuff to be upgrading. First thing I'm going to probably tackle are any of these diesel trains that have two or three of them because literally I can just manage these, delete both of these guys, and for reference, this. The EMD SD40s. 4,000 horsepower compared to the measly 1700 with 92,000 tractive effort, which is insane. So these guys get to go on to that. No depot found. Oh, well, all right. Hold the phone. I got to put a depot in first. Uh, what is this? I don't think you needed a depot if that's what this is. Hmm, X to doubt. You're not waiting, are you? No, you're not. You're going. Do you have a horn? Nope, it's that cruddy basic. I think it's a European style horn, honestly, because I don't think I don't know any American diesels that make that sound. But yeah, so with all of these locomotives upgrading to um, upgrading to diesel, the only ones that are probably going to be spared initially are the big boys. But the ones like the old steam locomotives, like the one in the intro, that one is absolutely, uh, it's outlived. It's, 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 it's definitely, it's lived a long full life and it is time to be retired. <laughs> it's time, and cars need to be upgraded too. It's that old. What do we got here? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And let's do one, two, three, four, five of those. Now get this thing upgraded. Here's the scary thing. Two of these boys, uh, these diesels, these just these SD40s, two of them alone have better horsepower and tractive effort than one big boy steam locomotive. They don't go nearly as fast. They only go 65 compared to 75. But these big boys are carrying so much cargo that they rarely will ever actually max out at that speed. Another thing I need to do, I need to change the page tools depot. This needs to not be a one end section because it slows everything else down. Yeah, I, I thought I heard a plane. Down there. Can't hear it. Um, let's see, so that's one right there. Let's also get these guys modded. We'll try doing that nice red and see uh, what color comes up. Ooh, that could be interesting. Let's see. Uh, not really, actually. That dark color does not really do it justice. Or not doesn't really actually help highlight it. It'd have to be a bright red to have any chance of really looking good. Yep. That's a, that's a big maybe there, boss. I can't say that I'm a fan of that, so we're going to leave it for now, though. 
Let's see, where else do we have? Okay, we have these big boys just racing across the countryside. Which I think still, they're one of the most iconic and classic. When she goes 75 miles an hour with a train this long, it, it is a good feeling. I get a very good feeling in my feels. Yeah, I'm I, I, I'm going to be hard pressed to give up my big boys, but it is inevitable. All right, you two can both get these. Let's try a steel bush blue. Ew, no, that was gross. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting that to be, but it wasn't. I wasn't expecting that. Let's just put it that way. Um, cargo we need was it two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, it's not the worst color combination ever, but it is one of. Yeah, that red looks better in comparison. Yep, there goes that. What else do we have? Those guys upgraded, those guys upgraded, those two guys have been upgraded. I believe these electrics are going to stay electrics pretty much for the rest of the game. Because they just have such a contractive effort. They just already, they already have what they need. Um, did I end up getting this line set up last time? I don't believe I did, but I should have have the line go from, uh, from Temecula Rail Freight East, then here. What, why aren't you... What, what gives? What gives? You have connection, do you not? Yes, you do. Are you connected here? Yes, you are. Well, is it not electrified? It's not electrified. Okay, that's an easy fix. Locomotive diesel, one of you. Uh, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, three, just in case it magically ends up getting the. Uh, what do you mean you still couldn't? There we go. There we go. And here's another one. Got upgraded as well. Diesel cargo is seven box cars and two state cars. Oh wow, you're my uh, ore train. It's actually good to see that this is finally getting some use. I was thinking that one was going to be uh, end up being a wash, so I'm glad to see that it actually is getting usage. That's a lot of fuel. Coming down this way. Wait, where are you going? Are you going up or are you going down? You're going down. So that naturally ends right here. Oh, that's right. I have a fuel. This is the fuel boy who takes that fuel from the station and brings it down here to the lower Phoenix depot. That's how that works. That's right. Yeah, I... Man, even this guy, the special, 95 passengers only, is kind of obsolete. And the speed is still amazing. It's faster than the Metroliner can go. But the distance is, such not, is not very far. <laughs> so it doesn't get to enjoy... Ooh, the Granny Granny. This is one that will absolutely benefit from an upgrade. Cargo, we would have... One, two, three, four, five of those. How many does it have? Five of those. It would need three stake cars. One, two, three. And then five box cars. We're gonna make these be dark brown box cars. Five. And then three tankers. We'll do a black one. Actually, we really should put the box cars in between. Black, a regular, and then how about a white for fuel? And then we'll add on two more box cars. Let's make them yellow box cars. Okay, old slow grids can stay as that. It doesn't need to be fancy. Okay, that blue is a is a horrific eyesore right there. 
<laughs> that was a mistake. That was a mistake. A mistake car? <laughs> uh, no, no, not funny. Oh, okay. I'll uh, I'll be op I'll just be over here. So let's see. With all that, it still gets up to 65 miles per hour in flat terrain, which is this what this is, in a little over two minutes. And that's a decent sized cargo haul right there. That is nothing to sneeze at. The Grim Grinner. A little new metropolitan freeway into Phoenix. It's definitely been very fun. I don't know all these metro liners. I mean, they can carry up to 156 passengers. I love their horn, by the way. Did you hear that? Ah, love it. Rail Harbor Phoenix has 200 passengers want to be going to between Temecula and Phoenix. Does that mean Temecula has breached 1,000? Not quite, but it has skyrocketed. That's for darn sure. 187 want to go back. I'm so sorry, the you two, but I gotta... People want to get places. They just do. They just want to get to their destination. In fact, I need to actually expand the station here a little. Too bad I don't really have any room for it. But yeah, we gotta do the new Metro Liners. Which kind of means that even the age of the Alcos, the E9s, is also coming to a close. Because these Metro Liners are just... They're so... They're, I have two Metro Liner uh, independent units hooked up to each other. Usually there's only four of these coaches, coach cars, in their entirety. And uh, I have eight. 156 passengers. Wow. No horn? <laughs> Alright, I'll do the horn. I'll do it fine. I'll do it myself. Yeah, it looks like just a lot of... A lot of this traffic is, uh, is 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 changing. It is changing. The way of transportation has evolved. How about up here? Do we have any trains that should? Yes, we do. So in this case, are they full up? Where are your guys coming from? You're coming from down here, are you not? Yes, you are. How many? Ch you don't have nearly enough, so I do need to have... Um, I still do need to have the diesel. <sighs> the question is, do I do one of these and then maybe one of these? That's probably what I'll do. Let's make them both uh, yellow, however. Or that or make it blue. Darker blue. There we go and then do the cargo. Make this all... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That'll then... Uh, that'll bring extra power out. Oh, that guy helps maintain the speed. How much oil is waiting here? 172. Yep, that's up for one of these. So did I upgrade all of them? I think it did. Yeah, it did. How much traffic is now going for between here and... Goodness, we almost reached 10,000 goods being between being loaded and offloaded. Okay, this needs to change. I need to adjust you guys to uh, be just one of these. And I don't need 10. Probably make do with seven. Just not using that much. This crossing right here is a nightmare. It's such a it's such a hold up. So much of a hold up. There's so much crew that wants to get shipped but can't. So I need to think of a new way to fix this problem because this is not. This doesn't work. <laughs> I mean. The lines are so backed up. They're just so backed up. This and they're just waiting. We're wasting precious time while this is going through. So the hardest part is going to be trying to find a solution that works. Uh, let's see. 
You know what I have not used? I just realized. I have never deleted these tracks. I just never got around to it. What if we use them? Yeah, I think this actually might be a good idea. So, if we're going to do that, we're going to have to have the rail... We're going to have to really interrupt traffic. Because that means these interior lines here are going to be going this way. And so we're literally going to be just severing these ties right here. Severing ties with the ties. As, as, as previously advertised. <laughs> okay, so... For starters, what does that mean? That means you... Pretty much all this has to get redone. I wasn't anticipating this being our, the major project for today, but you never know. Some 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 days it just the projects find you. Okay, so yeah, it means this needs to get deleted. This gets deleted. I'm trying to make this as clean a break as possible because it's gonna be messy really otherwise. I, I'm not a fan of that. Don't cause confusion and delay. Okay, that's that, that's that. Alright. That's that. Now we need to delete this and this. And then these. Okay, no catenary, please. Say it's at 29. This one. Uh-oh. Need to delete that one and that one. And that one and that one. 29, 29. 35. And then the 75s. This should then ensure that these routes are way more efficient. Should be the result. At least one of the results. And then you... As much as I don't want to cut off that one support beam, there's really no way around it. You guys get to connect for just a hair before breaking off again. As you are going to have to start elevating in a very uh, pronounced manner. Man, that's a really high slope. Okay, let's do this the other way. Whoa, what are we doing? What are you doing? Don't you know this is an exclusive club? Only explorers get to be a part of this. Not just any kid with a hat and a pair of goggles. You think you got what it takes? I never understood this. Why there is a gap between the a hovering gap between the rails. I just don't know why that's why is it there? <laughs> See? It's just just connect it. It's not that hard. <laughs> Please. <laughs> You're ruining my immersion. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, I want just that. And then can I... Nope, not that. There we go. Will you do that? You will. Huzzah! Three hoots and a tiger for me. I have one. Alright, I still need this to be like so. As much as I don't want this to be one long, continuous... And see, this is where that other ridge type would be much more welcome, because it's so less... it's much less intrusive. Well, now they're connected. But I've already started with this, so we're just going to keep it up. And it needs to be... right here. Uh, delete this. And then it looks like we go here. This is the inside route, right? Correct. So 
Let's get this moved over before we start deleting stuff. And I do want to delete both of these. As now that we're past this, we have the duty to go down and connect. That was not what I meant to do. There we go. Boy, now that is an incline. That is kind of almost too much. Can I move this along? Move the bridge along just a little further, please. It was fine before I moved it. Once I deleted it, then that kind of ruined it. There we go. Yeah, I want this just a little further, like right there. That's all I'm asking. Okay, so now I'm gonna figure out where these lines are supposed to go. Sixty-two, seventy-one. Okay, now let's delete this. Okay, I don't know where any of these tracks are supposed to go. Probably should delete them. No, 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 what are you doing? Oof, that is a sharp, sharp decline. Well, it's just, it's so elevated still, but eh, is what it is. It's good enough. All right, that connects there. So do any of the tracks reconvene? So we have two situations. We have the blue line, which, let's see, blue line's coming in on line, on track three, green line's coming in on track four, which means blue line needs to This is blue and this is green. If I did that correctly, right? Terminals, yeah. Blue is on the inside line, which means blue is right here. Green is on the outside track. And so as they're coming down, the danger is that means green has to hook right through blue, <laughs> is the downside, I think. No, 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 they don't. Well, they have to stop. <laughs> they have to hit the, they hit this zone and they do have to break. Potentially, if there's traffic. I am going to just do four signals. I have no idea if all of them are going to be used or not, but just because I'm going to need it. Blue, meanwhile. Oh, no, that's what the problem is. Green needs to be coming in. Green comes in here. Oh, green's cutting through blue. Oh, shoot. I don't really want that. But it has, it kind of has, well, no, it doesn't. If anything, I actually, I want blue on the outside track because blue then has to come back this way. Which means I do need to make a swap for, let's see, it comes out this way, which means I need one going in this way. That should solve blue's problem. Okay, maybe not. Hmm, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Let's see. Green has to be coming back down on that track. Green's coming in on this track. Green should be on the outside of this track. And then it needs to... I think we have too many lines here. It's half the problem. I don't need four lines. I don't need four tracks. At least I don't think I do. <laughs> I don't know what I would need it for. I guess you know what they say, though. Waste not, want not. I'm glad I didn't end up deleting that. That kind of worked out in my favor. So yeah, green should be... Green should almost be coming in from this track right here. 
as it's going uphill, it continues to, but then, see, then it still cuts, th although here's the thing, I would much rather green cut through blue than blue cut through green, although it may not make a difference. It's just a green train is so long. <laughs> it's so long. Like, I could have green actually go this way instead. Takes the long, long route around, comes back and hits this. I might do that. Which, if green does that, that means blue comes back around on her side, which is what I want. Although this double switch, if I throw it, is going to really hurt. zonk. <laughs> poor, poor blue. So, well, this is going to be a little bit of a minor disruption to service. <laughs> yeah, this is actually going to be a pretty major disruption of service. Basically, I'm having to reverse the trains, their direction and flow. So that's going to hurt freight for a little while, but that'll figure it out. Now to get that applied in practice. So that means, wait, line four, what's your problem? Line four, what is your problem? Oh, I probably just have to do a switcheroo here. Um, we just got to do one of these. Yep, there we go. So that's that. So now the, the lines are flowing again. Except blue is not. Blue is resisting. <laughs> blue is being a resistant little bugger. Alright, let's manage this line. So it goes from the Mesa Annex to Signal 17. I don't know where Signal 17 is. There it is. There's Signal 17. So 17... All the way, I do have to delete this, however, because you are then going to be taking, how fast is this turn? I do need to know how fast this turn is going to be. This is a 75 turn. Oh, wonderful. Because you will then, I will need to get a signal in right here. And then another signal we're going to put in right here. And one going the opposite way here. Yes. So from there to this signal. And then from there to the Flagstaff Freight Yard. Line four. And then from there, here we go. All right, you're probably going to tell me that cannot connect all stations? Really? Really? It's because there's all these one-way ones, I'll bet you. Yeah, we're just going to do that for a second here. Oh, I didn't mean to delete the... Oh, crumbs, I didn't mean to delete that. Come on, work with me. Thank you. All right, what's the big deal still? You're connecting. What's what's the dealio here? You're going the way I want. What do you mean? What is your What do you mean? Must be another hold up somewhere. So I have this line coming around here. Around the sides. Ah, yes, that's what it is. It's this. That explains it. Yep, so green does that. I think all the traffic should sort itself out. The only one that is going to take a little more love and care. Well, I'm not love and care. It's just going to take a little more guidance is the blue line. But she has come out this way. She has to hit here, and then she has to switch out this way and that's going to be what's going to hurt our hurt, hurt her speed how badly don't know pretty badly that's a pretty stiff 30 mile an hour change in location but on the bright side it's all downhill from there so not really that worried about it mesa i'm not the iron ore it's their stone delivery so once it hits the lax freight yards then it has to come back Hits the state, uh, what the, no, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to go this way. 
What are you doing, Stanley? And then hit this one, please. Thank you. There we go. So, if I did that right, then... Yeah, I would start deleting the unused tracks, but I'm a little, like... Uh, let's make sure this works first <laughs> before we start trying to mess anything else up. So why is black and purple going that direction? Why is black going in both... Black is station eight. What's... Is, is the... Is the Flagstaff oil delivery, is that one a multi-stop? It's not. Well, that's confusing. What station are you coming in on? You're coming in on station two, I thought. Well, I think we have it. It's working at least, so let's just uh, let's check and make sure. We'll see how it goes. There's so much traffic coming in and out of Flagstaff. It's crazy. This is all one train right here. Wow. should probably also change this train to instead of going the whole way ooh what if I did this can I make a train route that goes of goes here and then above so you know it goes below this curves around like this just humor me for a second. Oh, I can. Oh, that would be so cool. No, that would be less cool. The only downside to this is that, uh, it would be pretty much this all the way, the, all the rest of the way. It would just be this long, mammoth sized decline. And, uh, wow. Even still, it would take it a while to lower in size. I mean, it would be cool and it would cut down on this backup, but this, this could be one of those things where the cure is just as bad as the problem, potentially. Let's see. Eh, well, let's just... For the sake of argument, we'll try it out and see how it looks. Because again, this would be all downhill. There we go, that's that. And then... Fifty, 55 is not a bad speed. Especially when the maximum that they can even go is 65. And then, like that. Sixty, can I do that? I can! Actually, I can do that. I can do one better. So... <laughs> that would then take these guys... that. That would allow them to skip this whole... I mean, they get stopped as it is because of these long trains. This... Let's see if I can get this now to look a little cleaner. There we go. That works. And then I am going to just touch up the terrain here. Just a little. Make it look not quite so obvious. Yeah, not half bad, I do think. Like, I'm not thrilled about this section, but when you have, when you're starting from a, such a height difference, you're gonna have some bridges, and it's just a, just a fact of life. Okay. I don't think you're going the way you're supposed to be going. Yeah, how did you get there? You should be going, yeah, this way. 
Well, no, you actually shouldn't be going that. Oh, it wants to go that because it's got the least amount of... Um, the least amount of... Uh, ba uh, backage, or stoppage, I guess. This is the most efficient route of getting there. And I can understand that, honestly. I really can. But this will help you get your loads back in a more efficient amount of time. Meanwhile, how is this line going for us? Well, I haven't gotten any concerned yet. Alright, why are you still waiting for a free path? You have your free path, don't you? Probably not, that means. No, you should. You have a free path. What are you waiting on? What are you waiting on? Okay, now I'm really perplexed. The only thing that's crossing your path... Oh, it's this. I need to get one of these up right here. Now you're going. There we go. Yeah, that is going to be one of the downsides. If this thing has to stop at the top of this hill, it takes it forever to climb back up. Because this is just such a steep slope. And the nice thing a little about the other trains uh, are they're very, relatively short, all things considered. Let's go ahead and pop in another 10. There we go. Because, yeah, these things are just bursting to the seams with cargo. They really need to be going. Not being held up. Yeah. Man, she's going nearly 50 miles an hour, so... Yeah, this, this train it just takes it a while to get up to speed really does. But this thing has good tractive effort, so even when this thing has to stop, when it's finally free to go again, it is able to uh, get up to speed much quicker. So, we got that. Well, with that situation sorted out, let's go ahead and just watch some, some uh, do some more train watching. Alrighty, well that's going to do it for this episode of Transport Fever 2. And also this is the uh, penultimate, the second to last episode in this nearly 100% vanilla playthrough. Next playthrough is definitely going to be heavily uh, utilizing mods. Uh, but in this episode series we've come a long way, we've seen towns that started as little hamlets just bursting with growth. We've uh, seen the Golden Age, at least I believe it's the Golden Age of the era of the steam locomotives. But 
that era has now finally come to a close and to be replaced by the age of the diesel locomotive. Thanks for so much for watching guys and if you haven't, definitely subscribe for more content just like this and as always, this is Koigon Jake. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye!